Uh, two suspects have been arrested after a violent protest erupted, erupted in Whitbank's Wilkes Township. The uh, municipal building was torched on Monday as residents demanded to address the mayor personally. Residents are demanding improved service delivery. Meanwhile, protesters are blockading roads into the township. Police are monitoring the situation in the area. Now, for more on the story, we are joined by Kingdom Mabuza, who is the spokesperson for the Emalacheni municipality. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Mabuza. Perhaps if you could just lay out for us the extent of the disruption uh, currently taking place in Wurkis. Thanks, Tabo. Uh, actually, the protest started on Monday, and then it went on on Tuesday. Our office in Kuala was set alight. We suspect by a group of people who had earlier marched to our offices demanding to speak to the executive mayor. But the mayor was um, out of town. He had other commitments that he had to attend to. But surprisingly, today we are here in Kuala with the executive mayor. Still, the protesters are refusing to give a memorandum. They demand that, uh, you know, we enter into the township and yet it's barricaded. All roads are barricaded, but they demand that we walk into the community hall. And SAP have advised us that they cannot guarantee that uh, there won't be any throwing of stones or violence um, against the mayor and the entire. And as such, we still uh, trapped here at the entrance of, of Kola with no memoranda. Now, prior to these protests, uh, what had been your response as the municipality regarding uh, these people's grievances? No, no, no. Look, we don't have formal grievances from them, like I say. We haven't received a copy of the memorandum. Mm -hmm. On Monday, we dispatched an acting executive mayor, mm -hmm. and they turned down that offer. They said that they wanted the executive mayor, Namalaji. And then today she's here, still they can't send over a memorandum to her. So we, we, we don't actually know what, what exactly their grievances are. Right now we also hear that the, the municipal offices in Polar Park Township uh, have also been sort of uh, damaged there. Uh, have you also yeah, opened sure. cases re regarding that? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. We, we, we've approached the police, we opened the case of arson and damage to, to, to property. And then what's and, the and we believe police are investigating. And then what's the extent of disruption there? Is the situation as dire as it is no, uh, in the school, schooling has been disrupted. Um, we also told that people couldn't go to work. Like I say, streets are barricaded. Uh, we hear that uh, they wake up 4 a.m., they close all the main entrances, and as such, uh, there isn't anyone who's able to go to school or to work. All right, we also know of uh, police intervention here. Yeah, we know that two people have been arrested. Uh, any word on uh, other people, um, impending arrests, I mean? Well, we're not sure um, about what police are, what are doing. Um, and, and I cannot uh, you know, say anything on their behalf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Thanks, Mabuza. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, that's uh, Kingdom right. Mabuza. Uh, the spokesperson for the Emalakene municipality who joined us on the line reacting to uh, the protests that have marred Wurkis uh, as well as the Pola Park Township uh, in Mpumalanga. We will continue bringing you more reaction on that story.